You know, many people do not know that Santa Claus is actually named up us after Saint Saint Nicholas, who actually went about distributing gifts to poor people. Ironically, so is the other festival, Valentine's Day. It's actually named after Saint Saint Valentine. I think somewhere in Eastern Europe, he would literally go about helping the poor. And this day, if I'm not mistaken, is his birthday. And I think he's celebrated as a saint at least in Eastern churches. But in the 20th century, somebody got the bright idea to convert it from just a church festival to a secular one. But it's a good thing. It's a good secular festival because it asks us to rekindle our passions and emotions for our loved ones, especially our spouses, our partners. But it's also, in my opinion, also a good time to rekindle our emotions for everybody else in our families, our parents, our kids, friends. There's nothing wrong in giving a rose to any of them. Though, of course, we have different color roses for different kind of emotions, different kind of loves. For friends, we have one color. For your lovers, we have another color. But you know what? For those of us who are not fortunate enough to find love, maybe this is the day to go out and look for it. As I mentioned earlier, not just look to be loved, but look for somebody to love. In fact, that's how it is for a lot of us in school days. If you remember this is the day when you go out and give that flower to the girl or the guy whom you like, you have, you're crushing on and yet you don't have the guts to go there. But at this day, practically anybody can give anybody a flower. And the rest of you who have passed all that, who are probably married and have been there, done that, maybe this is a day to dedicate yourself once again to what Valentine himself did. Go out there to the least fortunate among us, to the poorest, to the disenfranchised, to the downtrodden, to the oppressed, and maybe share a little bit of your time. Because in the modern age, probably time is the most precious resource of all. You don't even have to give the money, guys. Just some of your time and your attention. And I think you'd make Valentine's Day memorable. And if you can be a blessing to somebody on that day, then I think send Valentine up there would probably be happy with it. And that's what my plans for Valentine's. As all of you know, this is probably my first Valentine with my wife after our marriage. And if everything goes well, we plan to pray in the town red and not just this town. Maybe if everything goes well, maybe we'll be in the Maldives, maybe we'll be in Vietnam, or maybe you guys can tell us where we should go. Looking forward to comments, guys.